So guys, a quick one. So I want to talk about agriculture as a business. You taking agriculture as a business. I know I've always been saying it in my videos, in my channel, take agriculture as a business. I want to tell you what I really mean by you taking agriculture as a business. Many people don't understand when I say take agriculture as a business, take farming as a business. So that's what I'll be telling you in this short video. Make sure you watch the video to the end. All right. Agribusiness is not farming alone. I think that's where people tend to get it wrong. Agribusiness is not you just tilling the ground, cultivating, planting, rearing. No. Agribusiness is in all aspects of agriculture. How you are able to convert the aspect of agriculture that you are into into a business is agribusiness. Okay? You might be farming and not be into agribusiness. Yes. You might be planting, cultivating, doing other things, poultry, everything, and you might not be into agri business because you are not doing the business aspect of that thing. Okay, agri business is how you can convert or turn whatever you are doing into a full time business. Agri business is how you can make a business out of whatever you are doing so when you're talking about business you're thinking about hiring people how to scale how to expand that is agribusiness it's not just you farming so let's take example for a poultry farmer let's say you're a poultry farmer and all you've been doing you've just been rearing and selling you've been rearing and selling you rear day old cheap to six weeks you sell you are just into farming you are not into agribusiness. But you're a poultry farmer. You are rearing. Ah, during the process of rearing, you're already checking. Okay, instead of me just selling my 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 produce, my my bread off like this, can't I just convert it to um smoked chicken? Can I start chicken shawarma sports? Can I start chicken this? Can I start roasted chicken? Can I how can I get more hands? Oh, okay, since I want to start chicken shawarma, maybe I should hire a guy that is good or a lady that is good in shawarma making. Let me hire the person, let the person start doing chicken shawarma. All I will do is supply the chicken and the person will do and I'll pay you as a staff. Or should I get someone that knows how to do barbecue? Okay, let me hire someone that knows how to do barbecue. Okay, you'll be doing um, the chicken barbecue. Because I'm into poultry farming, I'll be supplying the chicken, I'll be paying you. You are thinking beyond just farming. You're thinking about growth. You are thinking of expansion. You are getting workers. You are hiring people. That is agribusiness. Okay, you're thinking beyond just cultivation. You're thinking of scaling is agribusiness and that's why you see me preaching agribusiness agribusiness is where the money lies in farming in agriculture you being able to transform this particular thing into a full-time business is where the money lies okay also another thing i need you to notice agribusiness is not a short-term thing no so once people hear me say agribusiness they'll say okay let me cultivate this thing for a short period of time no agribusiness is just like every other business that you're nine to five is an agribusiness if you are doing it in the line of agriculture agribusiness is just like every other business is not something you do on a short scale at all like for a short period of time it's something you keep doing you keep expanding you strategize on how to put your products out there that is agribusiness you thinking out you thinking far that is agribusiness okay so if you're thinking of going into any aspect of farming, into any aspect of agriculture, first think about the business aspect. How can I scale this thing to go large? Just like when I said grab it, for those that don't know grab it, grab it was the business I founded when I was into rabbit production. When I started rabbit production, I knew I didn't just want to be selling winners, growers, uh, like that, like that. No, I was thinking about the business aspect and that was why when I started, I started looking for buyers for my rabbit urine, started looking for thinking of how I could package rabbit poo and sell to people. Aside that, I knew I didn't want to sell my rabbits just as rabbits, like I said. I wanted it to be a business. I started grilling rabbit meat. Yes, I have the package where I grill rabbit meat. I bag it. Now, I will hire people that will slaughter, that will remove everything, that will grill. That is you thinking as a business. Okay, I'm just giving you an example on how you can think in the business aspect. Okay, this is me and I have done it. Grabbit is currently on hold because you are working on a lot of structures to bring out. If not, you will, you will be seeing it out there. Do you understand? And for a rabbit farmer, if you're into rabbit, it's not just about you just wearing the rabbit, just like my rabbit. It's about you, you converting it into a business. The business model I just shared right now concerning rabbit, you can 
do it in every aspect let's leave animals let's talk about people that are into cultivation life um, um pepper tomato and the rest plantain and every other thing Let, let's even start with short, short term crops let's start with maize if you are cultivating maize only to sell to your local market you might not be making all the profit that you are to make you might not even get like 10 percent out of all the profits do you understand but if you are thinking okay if i cultivate this maize if i'm not able to sell it i'm going to convert it to dry maize if people are not buying my dry maize at the rate i want it to be i can convert this thing to pap i can package pap and sell you're thinking of the value chain okay how can you make more money with this produce it's not just about producing but how can i generate more profit as a business person you need to think about how you can generate more profit do you understand the thing i see here is most people are just going into agriculture sorry not even agriculture most people are just going into farming people that are farming just for the farming sake they are not going to farming for the business aspect of it and that's why you see people just oh hello family Jill, i've gone through your video i want to set up 100 hectares of land my question always is what is your goal it's not about you setting up the farm but what is your goal what is your long-term aim what do you want to achieve with the 100 hectares of land if you say oh okay i'll just sell it up that is an issue you need to think of okay if this market is not favoring me how do i make this market favor me how do i generate more profit people will tend to forget that you are pumping money into that thing once you are pumping money into that thing, you should start thinking of how that thing can generate money for you do you understand so that's the issue if you are saying farming is not profitable if you're a farmer if you're an agricultural business owner and you're saying okay this thing i am doing is not profitable we strategize check are you doing that thing as a hobby do you have a goal do you have what you want to achieve i believe it's your goal that will help you to work towards what you want to achieve i don't know if what i said just makes sense your goal will, will help you in how you work to make money so if my goal is to make 10 million from this um 10 acres of plantain farm i will start looking for ways that that plantain farm can generate money for me same with my breast if i want to make five million from this bread i will have to start looking for ways you will not only be thinking of how to sell now you'll be thinking of multiple things to do with that thing to generate money so that is the agricultural business i have been talking about and that is the aspect i want everyone to go into agriculture is very profitable we all know it's the most profitable niche ever but if you are not taking agriculture as a business you will just be wasting money and you will be frustrated you will close up i tell you i know what i am talking about i have been there at the point where i'm like i am not doing anymore but when i got to understand the business aspect of it which i'm always bringing to the channel like you all know this channel is all about agribusiness profitable agribusiness when i started to understand the agribusiness aspect of it you could see money coming in like that like that so i want you all to start thinking at the business aspect and not just the cultivation aspect okay and finally and finally agribusiness requires creative thinking everything i just said it takes a creative mind a business mind a business oriented person to start an agribusiness okay and that's why you see i'm bringing even little little agri business that you can start in my last video i talked about agri business for students if you're a student that you can start with little or no capital if you've not seen that video go and check it out agri business require critical thinking it's not something you can just decide you need to strategize how can i scale up it's as if you're starting up a business your own business people can invest 100 million in a business and they'll be focused on that business if that business is not generating money they'll be patient with it being not seeing it see that business start generating money but when it comes to agriculture they'll just invest money and expect that it will start bringing money tomorrow no it's not possible it's just like every other business you need your patience you need hard work yes you need to work hard you need to strategize if this strategy is not working we strategize that is how it is okay so that is what agribusiness means if i'm saying agribusiness is profitable take agriculture as a business this is what it means this is not a short-term thing you need to be a creative thinker you need to be able to explore other opportunities in whatever you're doing all right i hope you got value if you did smash the like button smash the subscribe button also if you have any comment for me leave it in the comment section and i'm going to see you in my next video